Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom to you out there. Peace and greetings, peace and greetings. This is your brother, brother Maury Ari Israel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The stranger. Yeah, I know. The stranger. I've been going for a little minute, man. I've been going for a while. Hey, hey. So I'm in the house uh, to give y'all a check in and, you know, update y'all and let y'all know I'm still here, man. I'm still here. Yeah, and I want to send a, a big shalom and a big peace and greetings. Um, to a good sister, Sister Sheila. Um, sister Sheila, thank you. And your brother, uh, Sister, reached out to me on Facebook uh, in the Messenger and, you know, and checking on my brother, checking on y'all brother, man, to see how I was doing. Say I hadn't seen any, they hadn't seen any videos and just checking on my brother. Uh, that, that's peace right there. That's peace and love. I like that, man, the peace and love. And that's what we all should do sometime, man. We see, you don't see one another for a minute or something. Hey, man, check on your people, brothers and sisters. Check on your brothers and sisters. And just 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 check on them, make sure everything is okay. So I say peace and love and greetings to uh, shout out to Sister Sheila and her brother. I don't know the brother's name, but uh, she but she know who he is, and the brother know who he is. So all uh, praise to the Most High for that one right there. Um, yeah, man, I had you know I had been gone. You know, I think it was the last time I had a data video. Uh, man, I had got um, that's kind of sick right there, man. I had that. Uh, my wife had got a. Uh, got to see. We think it was that y'all know the, the C word, you know. I don't want to say it, you know how they are. <laughs> I think, you know, maybe because I, well, I had already had it before, and my wife was kind of sick, um, running the fever and all of this type of stuff. And I ended up catching it on the back end, so I was kind of man sick, uh, for a minute. So I didn't do videos at that time, but then after that, I just been been doing other things actually. Uh, got some change up. I know, like, if y'all getting notifications. You used to see where it says Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. Um, I've actually changed the YouTube channel back to its original um, name that we had it at first when we first started. Uh, and Shalom to Moray David Israel as well. Uh, shalom to you, brother. Um, we started at the talk show, because we started off on talk show before we did the YouTube, the ministry thing. Um, so it was it was always at one time liberation tabernacle ministries that was the name of ministry that was always the name original and then later i changed it to liberation tabernacle of y'all so uh right now on the talk show and the talk show page and on iheart radio and everything like that y'all listen to the iheart radio for more more david israel he do the audio y'all know i always did the youtube channel so um right now um, it's still the uh, audio that's on iHeart, TuneIn, and all those major podcasting sites. It's still Liberation Tabernacle of Yah. That may change to the ministry as well. We don't. I got to give a more Ray David on that. We'll we'll, we'll discuss that one later. Um, so yeah. So if you get notifications and you subscribe to Liberation Tabernacle of Yah, and all of a sudden you're seeing Liberation Tabernacle Ministries, yes, it's still the same channel. I just went back to our original. Um, name that how we when we first started, um, and also though I ain't gonna try to make this one long. Just have to do a little check in with y'all. Um, there are some things that be changes here, uh, far as me teaching what I teaching and things, and that's why I kind of stepped back a little bit as well. I had kind of like said, I, like I told Moray David, I had stepped actually stepped down and stepped away uh, from the tabernacle. I had said I was stepping down and stepping away uh, and not doing any more tabernacle anymore. So that's why it's been a long time as well. Um, because uh, I'm still going to be doing some things. Right now I'm just working on self and my mind. And, and I, I, I do other podcasts as well where we do a lot of deal with politics, social uh, issues and a lot of things so I'm still doing some stuff now I'm still out here I ain't, I ain't, I ain't just sitting around not doing it now some people just vanish and not doing nothing oh uh, your brother Arya still he's still talking yeah I'm, I'm that is what I've been doing for a long time <laughs> so I still talk and teach but not far as dealing with Torah far as you know things of that nature um, but yeah I, I, I'm, I'm actually and I stepped away because Nah, I ain't going to get into that. That may be another show, but I don't want to make this long. But I'm going to be bringing, I'm still going to do some Tanakh classes and presenting things from the Tanakh. Uh, but not in the way that you normally 
will see uh, what you call the Hebrew Israelites or Israelites presenting presenting things. I want to go more into depth to get people to understand just what is when we're dealing with Torah tonight. What exactly are we dealing with, and what it does it, and what it benefits is it for you? Because like I said, I stepped away like I'm telling Dave, and I'm still gonna stand on. I still stand on this, and I tell you this, y'all. Some of y'all might unsubscribe to this, but it, it is what it is. I gotta just tell the truth about me. And this ain't about you. I can't be what you claim that you are and what you want to be. This is about me and my life. Because I can only be honest with myself, right? But I don't claim, I'm not claiming to be an Hebrew result. I mean, I'm not claiming to be a true bloodline descendant as uh, uh, of the Israelites anymore. I don't claim that no more. I don't know. I don't, I'm being honest. I don't know that, honestly. Like I said, y'all know damn well already. I don't subscribe to that Deuteronomy 2868. I don't subscribe to that at all. So I can't use that as my premise to say, hey man, well see, it's in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, that has something to do with the transatlantic slave trade. Brother Ari, I don't subscribe to that. And the tabernacle don't subscribe to that. Now, my brother Moray David Israel, he said he's a Hebrew by blood. I, that's my brother. That's my brother. If he said, that's him. But far as me, and I can't knock my brother if that's what he say. Hey, we ain't we ain't battling with that. And like I said, if, if some of y'all say that, hey man, if more power to you. But far as me, I can't say that. My, you know, I can't say that. But 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 does that take away from anything with me dealing with the study of 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 of, uh, of the Tanakh and Torah? No, it does not. No, it do not. Not in the least little bit. Right. Because y'all will say, people will say that those, I'm, I'm going to use this terminology, the European Jews, they ain't really Jews. They're not real Jews, but they, they, they will, because that's why I, I, I like sometimes, and I, I can honestly um, give them their props. Some of them say Judaism is a religion, is a religion, and, um, you know, put together religion, and, but they follow the, and they will hold on to the tendons of the of the torah right nothing wrong with that even if they made it a religion you say well this is your heritage like the, the hebrew is like said, this is the y'all heritage this ain't no religion and y'all say judaism is a religion okay well still again they hold on to the tendons of the torah and that's and and, and they study and um base their lives off the principles of the torah that's more important that's more important. You don't have to be a bloodline uh, Israelite. You don't have. It's more important. Which which one y'all think is more important? To follow the follow the instructions of Yah, follow the instructions of Yah, or just saying you're an Israelite by blood. Which one is more important? Just just saying, just being an Israelite, or following the instructions of the Creator. Which one is more important? Hmm. I'm gonna let y'all answer that. I ain't gonna give you the answer. I'm gonna let you answer it on your own. So anyway, for me though, I'm just gonna be bringing and going in and, and going into steel on materially. Um, just gotta see how I'm exactly, you know, presented and things of this nature. But just going in and still bringing the teachings of the Torah and um, showing you how certain things personally apply to you. Because certain things, again, brothers and sisters, that we read Torah, I mean the Tanakh, I said the Tanakh, AKA people call Old Testament. There's a lot of things that don't really apply to us today. I know some of you Israelites are going to disagree with it, but that's fine. That's your prerogative. You have the right to do that. But certain things that was done, like I said, it was history and, and has nothing to do with us today. But there's some principles in the story you can read and you can apply these certain things because of what you see how the mistakes they made in the past and you don't want to make these same mistakes like not probably exactly like they did but you don't want to go down these roads of uh being disobedient to the creator and and and, and being you know uh, a negative person in life and being disrespectful in life y'all know what i mean how just uh, mistreating people you don't want to do that right so there's a lot of things is in the torah even uh, the tanakh i'm saying i keep saying torah the tanakh well, it, it, these things had already played out far as through history. But it does not mean 
that you cannot look at these things and what happened and 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 see how certain things can be reflected in your life right so this is what i will be going into majority now i'm not coming to teach like a you know far as like the a religious like religious lies <laughs> like israelite or some of the which y'all normally hear on on youtube and everything i'm not coming to do that i'm, I'm coming to show the torah how uh, uh how and then to knock things how it could be applied to you even though it has nothing to do with you per se far as history and we're gonna be going into some of them things like i've been saying before like joe we're gonna go into some some things some books and stuff and show like joe joe there's um according to scholarly senses there was no actual person named joe that is a wisdom book like again people be i keep saying this over and over People out here quoting uh, stuff out of Psalms, like that's a prophecy book. And the Lord said so and so in the book of Psalms. What the Lord say? The Lord didn't say the most high y'all didn't say say nothing in the Psalm. That was David. That was like a journal, a a a uh, like a journal and things with David with his trials and tribulations, his songs and his sorrow that you read in there. Uh, Proverbs, great wisdom book. You want some wisdom, knowledge? And understanding how to maneuver and the great instructions, how to maneuver through life and things of this nature, get you some rain, read them Proverbs, read Ecclesiastics and things of that nature, man. So, yes. So, that's what I'll be getting into. But, yeah, your brother's still here, man. Your brother's still here. I'm still on the planet. <laughs> you know, the Most High hadn't called me home. Thank Most High. All praises. Uh, still, brother, still here. Um, yes, sir. I just, like I said, brother and sister, I just, just... I had really, I'm beyond, I had decided that I was no longer going to be doing the tabernacle anymore. So I actually had, uh, uh, in other words, I resigned. <laughs> but I, I, I uh, the most I just said, you know, hey, you know, even if I don't do it as an Israelite tradition, bring it as an Israelite tradition, I'm still teaching, want to uh, hold on um because there's a lot of great values, man, over my life that I, when I started getting into the Torah and Tanakh, uh, it helped my life. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to throw that away. I don't throw no knowledge away anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't throw knowledge away. I don't throw truths away. So, yes, sir, and brothers and sisters, we're just going to be getting into some things. We're going to go into it. We're going to go into it and learning scholarly stuff. We're not into this as a tabernacle. We, this is not, we don't bring feel good doctrine over here. We don't do feel good doctrine in the tabernacle. It's not being disrespectful to nobody else, but at the tabernacle, we don't do feel good doctrine. We're not here to teach all of this bull crap, to, you know, to try to make you feel good just because your skin is a certain complexion. You know what I'm saying? We don't do we don't do skin doctrine. So no sir, brothers and sisters, we don't do all that and we're not going to do all that. I don't do black supremacy like that. I don't want them to do white supremacy. We don't do that. We do truths over here. Because really, man and brothers, so we're going to get into that on another level. But y'all better pay attention to really what's going on in, in the world. But primarily, I'm in the United States, so I'm going to stay here in the United States. Pay attention to what's going on in the United States and, and, and things as it uh, are transpiring. You better stay, you better stay uh, uh, aware. Keep your eyes open. Stay away from all this old bull crap. People trying to keep you locked into this racism stuff. Hey, man, and these trigger words, and they're keeping you, and like I said, they're keeping you under spell. Black this, black that. You're black this. They hate you because of your skin. Racism this. They, these are trigger words. These are spell words they're putting on you, brothers and sisters, nowadays. I'm telling you, you to try to uh, 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 keep you locked into a dimension, uh, uh, and you will continue to be like a victim you will never be able to achieve nothing because somebody trying to tell you that somebody's out to get you because of your blackness this is like man hey these folks ain't them the man that's the least little thing you better worry about right now that's the least thing that's on the table it ain't even about racism no more brothers and sisters i know that sound crazy to some of y'all it ain't even about racism no more they don't even give a damn like you know you got a little knucklehead that probably uh up uphold some racism uh, white supremacy. Oh, I ain't gonna say white supremacy. Some racism, some discrimination. Yes, you got some fools out here gonna always have that. But I'm gonna tell you, it's deeper than that, brothers and sisters. It's deeper than that. Like I looked at another brother on another video uh, about something else earlier. Like he said, it's about classism. It's about power now. Who has the uh, the power and things who to run stuff? 
They don't give a damn about racism. That's petty stuff they use on you, black man and woman. The racial stuff. Ain't nobody thinking about real damn racism no more like it used to be. Come on. Come on now. But anyway, this is your brother Ariya Israel. Yes, sir. I'm still here, y'all. Like the song say, I'm still here. The little gospel song. Yes, sir. I'm still here by the grace of y'all. So all praises, y'all. Uh, and I, and I uh, pray the most high, y'all. I get some more videos and uh, lessons coming in here pretty soon. Like I said, y'all going to be bringing some presentation, putting things in, um, putting put things on the screen and all of this stuff to show y'all some stuff, brothers and sisters. So yes, sir. Your brother's still in the house. Uh, on behalf of uh, brother uh, Moray David Israel, yes, sir. Go and still check him out right there on iHeartRadio and... Uh, all the major podcasting, uh, what's that, Apple podcasting stuff, the Liberation Tabernacle of Yah and all that. Go and still check the brother out. He's still holding down classes. He hadn't went nowhere. He's still holding it down as well. So, yes, sir, go and check it out. But, yeah, I get some videos on me and uh, coming up here pretty soon, real soon, y'all. So, shalom to y'all out there. And, and shalom to my good sister, uh, uh, um, Yvette. Yvette, preach to you, my sister. Thank you for, uh, as well. That you were concerned and checking on me as well. I forgot about that, my, my bad sister. Yes, sir. Shalom. Most, man, most high bless y'all, man, and keep y'all safe out there. Most definitely, man. Watch over you and keep you safe. You, we, y'all. Because, like they said, man, like Dr. King said, we got some troubling days ahead of us now. But y'all know what? We're going to make it through. We're going to make it through. We, 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 we're going to try, uh, uh, we're going to, we're going to, uh, what's the word, y'all? We've been through a lot of trials and tribulations in our life. But as always, we come out of them, y'all. Just hold on. Just hold on to the rope. And we're going to pull through. Most I bless.